Hello guys, welcome to my this video and today in this react tutorial I will discuss about use reducer react rules. So guys, first of all we have to know why we use use reducer react rules. So these hooks we use to manage the state of our application. So guys, if you are confusing like what is state and why you need to manage. So first of all, I will show you what is state of this application. Okay. So guys, here you can see this is home.js file. If I open our preview so here now it is home.js and now inside this home.js file suppose if I write h2 tag and if I write a value means any content like 0 you can write here hello anything you can write here okay so now if I go to the browser so here you can see it is showing 0 now suppose here if I change it to hello okay so it is simple like when I will come here it will display hello okay so this is called state so now our application's state is hello okay so now if i change it to zero and if i come to the browser so our application state is now zero okay and now suppose and state management means what so suppose if i add here button okay button so type is button okay and now here i will write the button name is increment okay like this or simply INC anything we can write the button name okay so this is the button okay so now if I come here so here you can see it is so displaying a button also and the value or content you can say it zero so now guys if I click this button and if I change this thing okay means now it is zero after clicking suppose it will be one okay so means I am managing the state okay means the previous state it is zero or you can say it initial state is zero when I will click this button and I will change this content. So now our state of this application is changed. Okay. Suppose if I make it one means the current state will be one and the previous state is zero. Okay. So that is called actually state management. It is very simple. Okay. Don't be confused here. So this use reducer hooks used to manage the state. Okay. Means this thing used to manage this thing. Okay. Means suppose if I click this increment button. So, it will uh, be increment right from 0 to 1, 1 to 2 like this way. Okay. Means I am managing the state. So, now let us see the syntax and let us see how we can manage the state using use reducer hooks. So, first of all guys, we know we have to import use reducer. Okay. So, here I will import this hooks that is called use reducer. So, import and curly braces. Okay. And here I will write use redo sir okay and from here react because this is default features of react okay so that's why i will write react and use reducer so now i will copy this thing okay and inside our component means inside this home function okay here i have to write one array like this okay and this array takes two things one is state and another is dispatch okay this is syntax don't be confused here okay like this and here i have to write use reducer and this parenthesis okay and this use reducer takes two parameter also here first of all it is reducer function it takes a reducer function okay by the way instead of reducer if you want to write any other thing like you want to write here a it is fine but guys for you have to write anything like which will be the make a sense okay so that's why we will write reducer and the next parameter it is initial state okay initial state okay. so same thing i will repeat if you want to write any other name instead of initial state you can do that but I will suggest to write here initial state. Okay. So now guys here initial state means initially what value you want to assign here. Like here you can see the static value I have assigned 0. But when I will perform anything like suppose I will click this button and 0 will be increment. Okay. Means 1, 2 like this. Way. So that time I have to write it dynamically. So that's why this initial state I will define as an 0 okay so const const this initial state and zero like this okay 
So this thing you can write any other name like if you write here A, so you have to write here A, okay. This is the one thing and here this initial state is now a variable. See here I define as a variable. By the way, if you do not want to define as a variable, so you can, you do not need to write here like this way. Simply you can define 0 also, that also fine, okay. But guys, suppose uh, instead of single number, like now I am defining 0, but you want to define one array or one object. So that time, it is not a good practice to define here object like A equals to uh, any value like this way, okay. You can do that, but it is not a good practice. So that's why we write one variable here, okay, and you know variable name, it can be anything, okay. And after that, we define this variable here and we define the value here. Like simply, if you want to, uh, instead of 0, you want to display here any object, so you can do that. It is very simple and it is, the code is very clean, okay. So that's why we write like this way. So this is the one thing, okay. Now, I told you already that is reducer. This is a function. Okay, so if it is function, so means I have to define it. So where I have, I will define. So this function you can define here as well. Okay, I mean inside our component function or outside. Okay, anywhere we can define. So I will define it outside because I want to make our code very clean. Okay, if I define here, so it will it will not be much clean. Okay, so that's why I will define the outside. Okay, so I have to define it as a function. So here I will write const, okay, and the function name is reducer, and I will define it as a fit arrow function. So equals to parenthesis equals to fit arrow and like this, okay. And now here this thing also takes a two parameter. I mean this function also takes a two parameter, like this function first takes state means you have to write here state, okay. Suppose if you change here states and if you write here state, I mean see the difference I have added is but here not. So you will get one error means whatever you, you will pass here. So that thing you have to write here, okay. It is I hope it is clear. So maybe uh, like I guess you will not do the same mistake like suppose if you pass here any other value and you have written state, so you will get the error, okay. So just concern here, like whatever value you will pass here, you have to write here, okay. So this thing and here you have to pass another thing that is called action. So action is the very simple thing. I mean what action you want to perform, like when I will click this button, so that time it will be increment. So means you are performing a action that is incrementing, okay. So this thing. Okay, so now here I have to now connect this reducer with our button, okay. Means when I will click this button, so that time I will do something, okay. So how I can connect, so that's why I have passed here dispatch, okay. Maybe it is confusing, but the syntax is like that. I cannot make it easy way, okay, because it is a syntax, okay. But you have to remember step by step. Okay. So, here first of all I will write on click and callback function I will write here like this and here I will write one dispatch okay means this thing okay same thing I will write I will explain again like if you write here any other thing and you have written here dispatch so you will get error I mean whatever you will write here you have to pass the same thing here okay so now dispatch and again parenthesis okay and it takes a object okay so i will add here object and this object has a property so the property name is type and here i will define the type so type it will be a string value okay so that's why i have written c inverted comma and type you can define any string value like you can define here hello anything but guys it is not, it does not make a sense because I am incrementing. So, that is why I have to write, write a type something related to that, okay. So, I will write the type is INC and this is capital letter. By the way, if you want to write like this, it is fine, okay. But this thing, it is looking good, okay, I increment. 
okay but uh, if you want to add it uh, want to write the full thing like increment so you can do like that okay whatever you can write here okay so this is the thing okay so now guys here it is now connected with reducer okay so now if i just console console dot log and state okay and in another console so here i will just copy this console and i will paste here and if i just write action so let's see what i will get so guys here it is showing error so the error is because of here you can see i have defined something but i did not write any keyword like const var late okay so that's why i have to write a keyword const okay if you want to write a var and late that also fine okay so now if i say so see now error is removed from terminal okay and if i check here so you can see like this so now i will open our inspect element because i uh, display something in console so for checking that thing i have to open inspect element okay means console you can say it see console is open just simply i will refresh once it again okay and now if we click this button so let's see so when i'm clicking this button first of all here you can see i'm getting zero and after that type is increment means state is zero because first i displayed here state and after that action okay so that's why first of all i'm getting state that is zero and here increment type is increment okay you can see it is very simple thing okay so now same way if i just copy this button paste here and here instead of increment if i write decrement and in the type if i define suppose decrement okay so now let's see what will be written when i will click the decrement button so this is increment button and this is decrement button okay don't focus on the design because our main motive to show the functionality thing okay so now if i click this increment button so the state is zero because initially i have defined here zero initial state okay and which is coming here initial state and i'm getting here okay and if i click the decrement so see here you can see type is decrement but it is undefined okay so when i'll click the decrement button first of all so i'm getting the initial value that is zero okay and decrement and if i click second time increment button so that time increment is undefined and type is increment okay because state is not changing right so that's why uh, i'm getting the state is undefined because when suppose why i'm getting undefined because suppose uh, if i click this increment button so the initial state is zero okay but it is not changed so that time if i click this decrement so it is displaying undefined okay but you can understand right like uh, i'm getting the state and getting the action okay action is uh, type uh, type is you can see in, inside action i'm getting type object and the type is decrement so this way here we can write a one condition right like if okay this action and inside this action i'm getting one type okay so now if action dot type triple equals to and what type increment means whatever i have added here okay so now if the type is increment so state what i'm getting that is zero okay so what i will do i will just return this state with one okay means when i will click this increment button so that time i will get the type is increment because in console you i already had shown like i'm getting increment type and that increment and the initial uh, state is zero so what i'm doing when i'll click this button so i will increment it by one okay it is very simple so same way i will define the another thing that is for decrement button okay decrement so that time i will decrement the state by one like minus so it is very simple thing okay so now it is done
So now guys here if I click this increment button see nothing is changed or if I click the decrement button same thing nothing is changed because guys if I go to the code here you can see now the value is static okay and the changing is our state okay. So I have to call this state I told you already I have to make it dynamically okay. So how I can call using curly braces and state. So now I will just do save and I will come here and refresh. Now if I click, so see it is incrementing, okay. It is incrementing and if I click decrement button, so you can see the value is decrementing. So this is the thing for use reducer hooks, okay. So see the code here. I will scroll down slowly so you can see the code once again and you can write in your application and you can check it how it is working okay so guys this is use reducer hooks i hope guys you have understand and if you find this video is helpful so guys don't forget to like this video and if you want to get more update in react so please subscribe my channel as well